We thank the Creator for giving us the knowledge of our Anishinaabe ways, our language, traditions, and ceremonies. We are grateful for our family members, teachers, and friends that continue to teach us and protect us from the influences of modern culture. My name is Terrence Warner. My Ojibwe means warrior thunderbird. I am from the clan the Snapping Turtle. I'm from the Leech Lake Reservation. My name is Tyler Anberg. I am 13 years old. Um, I go to Boganagishig School. I live on Oak Point Road where uh, I live with my mom, stepdad, my three brothers and a sister. My name is Indonis Robinson. I'm a freshman at Buganagiji School. I'm 14 years old. I'm from Cassock, Minnesota. My Indian name is Inukasi Ikwe. It means hummingbird woman. And my mom is Alana Gross and my dad is James Robinson. In English, my name is Derek Gochi. And Ojibwe, it's basically Gabo. And my clan is Bear. So it would be Makwa and Dudim. And I'm from Inger. And no jib where it's cha cha barn and doing jaba. And I'm from the Leech Lake Reservation. My name is Cesar Rivas. I live in Deer River. My mom's name is Julia Vesza. My dad's name is Gerardo Rivas. My name is Theo Liberty. Uh, my Indian name is Mitch Karmazi. Hi, I'm Zach White. I go to the Bugno Gijik School. Uh, my Indian name is uh, Gizagian which means I love you. My, grand, my grandfather gave me that name. Hi, my name is Willow Miller. Loon is my clan. I live in Bemidji and I'm an Ojibwe speaker. Ancestors fought many battles to retain our culture and tradition. The Bhaganagijik school is just one small part of this ongoing battle to retain our cultural identity. I find strength in school with uh, friends, um, good teachers, and stuff like that. Like, we learn Ojibwe and stuff, and it's fun. Well, I learned a lot about my culture. You know, all about all four seasons. You know how to survive during the winter. How to make a house. How to keep the insects away from me. I'm learning a lot more of our culture than I would somewhere else. And learning our language. It helps me a lot knowing my culture and everything because I'm not, it feels like I'm not lost in the world. And being as a Native American, it brings more family because we're all family in a way. So it helps me out a lot in life. The culture is very important to the younger kids because the Creator made us who we're supposed to be. And when you try and be something that you're not, you can feel it because inside of us, we've all got the feelings. We've got the the stuff is already ingrained in, in our in ourselves of what we're supposed to be. And if you're going against that grain, it's it's hard. And sometimes you don't realize it, and the culture can teach you what you need to know. I turn to my culture and I just believe that if I can talk to the spirits and consult them that they will tell me what to do and tell me what would be a good path for me to take. It makes us powerful, it makes us believe in it at least, it makes our hearts feel a lot better and it makes our culture back together again. A pitain dogwood, 
Nishinabe J Nishinabe Mut. Gishpin get can done sick or the shin of cause of wind. Gishpin get can done sick or the new wind in on going with Nisha do Tadis of Sea. I'm gonna talk a little bit of English because this is a big one for me. Is that our language is everything. And in order to understand yourself, you need to have your language, especially as a Anishinaabe person. There are a lot of things that our people were gifted with that cannot be explained in English. They can come close and you can kind of understand it up in your head, but the heart teachings, the things that, are, that make us the strongest can only be said in our language to really understand it in a way that our people were gifted. To understand how beautiful our life is, how beautiful everything we were given, that we have as much to offer this world as anybody treading this world right now. We have as much, if not more at some times, to give for, for people to understand and appreciate what we've been given here on this earth. So language is huge, it's everything to me. We as young people have already faced many battles, whether from some form of abuse or the overwhelming effects of a grief. But it has been our culture that has held us strong and made us resilient. We try to tell our kids to use our tobacco every day, you know, put it outside and stuff. If you want something, that's, you know, that's the thing that you have to follow. Really dig deep in your culture and medicine men are, medicine men are always there to help and just be who you are and don't try to be someone else because then it messes up in life and it gets you mixed up really bad and just stay with the people who are closest to you. Don't, don't get in trouble or anything because that will mess you up too. So just stay with your family and friends that really love you. We should just stay strong, learn how to do it, don't quit, don't give up. There's a big world ahead of us. Learn about yourself, learn about your people, learn your language, understand your ceremonies. Don't just know what you do and I walk over here and then I put tobacco here and don't just know that, but ask the questions, why do you do that? Why do we say things a certain way? really go after don't wait for it to come to you because we're losing it and this world will be less of a beautiful place if we lose what we've been given because we were giving it for a reason and we need to share it with each other and to make this world as beautiful as it is to maintain it as it is we need to be present and we need to be ourselves you got to know who you are and know what you're meant to do and know what people think of you because it helps you a lot, I mean. There was people that thought of me as a bad kid and they didn't really like me because of my skin color, but I proved them wrong and it just, it opened up a big door in my life. If they can light this next fire, if they can understand and start, start doing things the way it's supposed to be again, that fire will be lit and there'll be another seven generations of good happening. And if they don't light it, I probably won't be around to see what happens, but I don't like the idea of it. Stay off drugs, don't smoke. Stay off drugs, they'll, they'll just hurt you. They won't make you feel better. And grief is supposed to be dealt with. You're not supposed to hide it away. And if you need someone to turn, turn to your family, turn to your culture, because they both can help. They'll give you something to believe in. They'll give you somebody to talk to. We thank the Creator for giving us the knowledge of our Anishinaabe ways, our language, traditions, and ceremonies. We are strong. We are resilient. 
we are in Anishinaabe.